Kevin, you you moved recently, and yeah. I, I heard the uh, the the random show you did with Tim recently, uh, where you're talking about getting rid of one thing a day. That's right. And 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 I don't think the getting rid, the act of getting rid of the stuff brings you sort of long term happiness or or, or contentment um, or well being, but I think it's an important first step for many yeah. of us, right? Where it's like this stuff has gotten in the way, right? And so it seems to me like when you were talking about letting go of one thing a day, um, it wasn't because, the, I mean, yeah, you, you sort of feel this weight lifted right away, but, sure. but, uh, that is merely the, the first step. It's making room for what is more important. You spending time with your daughter or your family, or, I mean, when I come into your, your house, which is a relatively new house, I feel a sense of calm. People often associate like tiny house living with, with minimalism and that, that's one side of it. Yeah. But that's never been as appealing to to me personally because it the the I think the better question is like what not what is the how many square feet are your house is like what's the appropriate amount of space for me and my my family mm -hmm. right um, we have a, a we had a architect in our documentary is a minimalist architect his name is Frank and one of the things that I was asking him about was well, how does he go about building a house for someone he said I never asked people do you want a living room do you want three bedrooms do you want a three-car garage do you want a dining room because people just say yes to everything I'm supposed mm -hmm. to have this he said instead I ask people how they live their life and I try to build a house around that because if I don't do that you're just gonna cram someone else's life into that house right you're gonna try and fill every corner sort of thing and then 5 10 15 20 years from now you look around you realize like oh I've got all this stuff. The average American household has 300,000 items in it. That's insane. And, and I don't, it doesn't happen overnight. And I think the same thing is true with the simplifying, that simplifying thing doesn't happen overnight either. That's why I like the idea of you, you're, you're gaining momentum because getting rid of one item a day turns very quickly into like, you know what, like I've got this momentum now I can get rid of 10 things today or. Yeah. And it also helps you kind of reframe in your head when you're about to make another purchase. You're like, is this something I'm going to have to eventually give away because it's a bad purchase? Right. What's and the so, true cost of the thing? It, yeah. We, we often think of the price tag as the cost, but it's like taking care of the thing, worrying about the thing. There's That's a psychological right. way, putting fuel in the thing, changing the things, batteries, changing the oil in the thing, cleaning the thing. There's like all of these extra costs that we don't think about at the, at the point of sale. Yeah, that's the, right. The other thing too about letting go, uh, or practicing letting go like one thing per day, like that gives you the ability to let go of more things. And like the, the biggest, I think, superpower that Josh and I have been able to uh, gain from, from this life that we've lived in the la last, you know, 10 years, 